It's time to record another video. Uh, I was watching this video and uh, this thought was inspired. I've been watching a lot of these webinars and very, very, very interesting and very uh, informative. Uh, a lot of life lessons. When you enjoy your life, you bring joy to the world or joy into the world. I started watching this. I don't think I've finished watching it. Maybe I watched half. And these are my thoughts. God is in charge. We are not in control. We just need to let go. Peace comes to your soul when you understand you are part of something much bigger than yourself. An intelligent, loving force is guiding you through this. Yes, sometimes there are horrors. I don't know what to make of this or of it. Sometimes things seem really bad, but what if in the end it's okay and I will be okay? Because the force that is guiding all of this is benevolent and has my best interests at heart. That sounds positive, but is it true? <laughs> I find it difficult to believe this because I know the horrors that happen in nature happen uh, on this planet. In nature. Uh, and in the hearts of human beings. How can a benevolent being allow this to happen? There is something wrong here. This is a problem of suffering. Yes, there is a lot of suffering in this world. A lot of horrible things happening everywhere. It's there. It's, it's really horrible. But I asked the question, should I allow the horrors I witness around me uh, and in me in the... Oh in me and in the darkness and the darkness and in the darkness of my soul stop me from believing or hoping is that how the bad guys win by pointing out look how can a loving god allow such misery in nature is this how they win? Is this the, is this the devil's retort? <laughs> how can a loving God allow this? There has there is no loving God. That just doesn't exist. Look at the horror in nature. How can you how how can a loving God allow this? Is this how they win and I lose? Is this how they win and? By believing in this uh, retort of the devil, I lose my connection to this loving feeling, this sense of wisdom and direction. I, I lose my connection to this. Is it loving feeling? I don't, this sense of wisdom and direction. Oh, I lose this connection to this benevolent creator. Um, I don't know what to do, but I think there is something here. It feels painful to think about how much God loves me in these moments, precisely because He knows my heart. He knows my fears. Isn't this the greatest of all secrets? The love of God for someone like me. <laughs> Am I a sinner? No. Um... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think we are sinners or saints. Um, let me just write something else. Um, I was gonna, you know, there's, a, uh, there's another uh, very good discussion. Um, Here is a uh, um, uh, it's a very good discussion about what the what 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 one species of ET thinks. Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, Come on, what is it? Oh, yeah. oh, I guess I'll put this. Uh, yeah, but the view of God. Um, the universe. What the capital? Universe. the multiverse i guess is created by a curious benevolent benevolent innocent being this being set out set out to explore itself by creating the universe by creating all that is uh, each of us um, when this being uh, stretches out into the cosmos it uh, creates souls and when these souls incarnate into bodies sometimes they they forget who they are and where they come from. It is this forgetting that causes fear and fear produces suffering. Um... Because when you've, uh, that's why uh, they, they always talk about, uh, re remember who you are. Who am I? I am the being that, I am a fractal of the being that created everything. I am this soul, this frequency, this, this, as a, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to know myself, discover who I am. Imagine you're floating around like a soul, like a light being, all right? And you're just, you're just curious. You're going around. You're just exploring. And suddenly, um, there are these containers. The DNA is a container, the DNA bodies. And I think humanity in the past... Humanity knew, the, our ancestral lineage, we knew who we were. We always had a knowledge of who we were, that we were connected to the creator. And maybe we, you know, that, that we knew who we are. But along the way, I think some negative ETs manipulated our DNAs. And then, then it, they made us forget who we are. 
And when we forget who we are, we feel lost, we feel confused, we feel disconnected, we feel afraid, because we don't have that connection to that creator, that, that innocent, loving creator. We are not connected to that being. And we are when we are like trapped in these bodies and fear it is fear which produces suffering. Um and now I'm going to go on a limb here and then <laughs> and talk about something that thought creates again I'm, I'm going off of uh, I've been watching a lot of um, um, anyway uh, it seems or well, let's let's just say a thought creates reality. The, the fabric of space-time matter is made up of particles that vibrate. And, and it's like the wave. It's like the whole universe, universe is like a wave, okay? <laughs> and when you think something, that wave condenses into a particle, and then the particle becomes matter. So your thoughts literally manipulate matter. Like there might be aliens out there who can directly create or manipulate these matter, these particles, by their thought. Um, and I, and if we think about fear as producing suffering, imagine there are. Uh, what if? What if there are thought forms or souls that are that have the fear frequency, and the fear frequency gets manifested into the material world as suffering and destruction and all that stuff. And if you have a thought form that's on the love frequency. You can manifest in in the world as more loving experiences. Um, I still I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm still trying to I'm still learning. So, um, but the problem of suffering is a very big problem. A problem of suffering is a very big problem. Um, it's a very huge. It's a, there's a lot of suffering on Earth, and it's very difficult to uh, feel positive and optimistic about life when you know there is so much suffering in, in, in on this planet. Uh, it's. Um, I guess I'm I'm trying to get to a point where I can take take the negative and positive energies and cancel them out. Find balance. Uh, I was watching a video. I haven't finished watching it. <laughs> there is so much. Uh, Oh, you yeah, haven't. There is a... Hmm. Hmm. Um, where is that video? I guess this is one of the videos. I haven't finished watching this. This is like one of the videos. Um, is this it? 
Is this it? Okay, so I guess I get that. Oh, I don't know if this is the correct video, but uh, th there's a lot of uh, interesting information on this channel. Um, yeah.